Are you ready? It Superstar got bros. Gold Wednesday. I love gold. It's nice. You know what I don't love? Iron Sparks. Flooding. I hate flooding. Um, yeah. So we, we we cast out of Vegas. We live in Las Vegas, and today in Las Vegas it rained nonstop pretty much the whole day. We actually set a record for rainfall. Um, we got over two inches of rain in some parts of the valley, and we recorded I think like one point. Nine three inches of rain at McCarran International Airport, which is the third highest uh, amount of rain in a 24-hour period. In uh, and I had to drive in industry from work, and I didn't because I don't was leave the house. Really annoying. So yeah, so that's my little vent for for today's class, and uh, let's get into Gold Wednesday. Looks like a Terran versus Zerg matchup on Entombed Valley, and who do we have playing today, Aaron Sparks? And on our bottom right corner, we have our Red Terran Mighty Sheep. <laughs> and on our top right corner, we have Mike. Hey. I think that's what Mike's say. Or did Mike say anything? Well, the Mike that I know doesn't, you know, he doesn't go, hey, but he says hi. Happy birthday. All right. All right, so in Toon Valley, uh, Terran versus Zerg. I'm actually kind of looking forward to this matchup. It feels like we haven't had a matchup like this in a while. <laughs> you mean like we had one yesterday? Yesterday? Didn't we? Oh. <laughs> well, today has been a really long day, so <laughs> I don't even remember yesterday's game. Oh yeah, it was a fan sent in one too. Yeah, from Demon Monkey. All right, I worked way too long today. All right. So let's see, uh, Mighty Sheep is walling off, he has his barracks going down right now, and uh, spawning pool started, what was that, a 13 pool? Yes, no. Alright, so uh, both players doing a, a good uh, conservative opening uh, against each other, and it looks like uh, Mighty Sheep has scouted out the wrong way, he sent his SCV clockwise instead of counterclockwise, so that'll be a bummer! I really hate when that happens, it just <laughs> like sends it all the time. But it looks like uh, Mike's going to go ahead and take the expansion. He got that spine pull first, so he's have a little bit of defenses, just because he doesn't know where to spawn it is. Yeah, and just in case there was any uh, two proxy rack build, or maybe even a just a two racks aggression from the Terran player. Uh, and yeah, so we have that expansion going down. Um, game is lagging a little bit. What's up with that? I don't know. That's weird. All right. So, did you have a good day? Yeah, it was all right. Do anything productive? Nope. Play video games? Yep. All right. Um, let's see. What do we got? Uh, last night, Iron Sparks and I played some mono battles with a uh, poor drone with another friend, and we actually uh, we landed in a game with the person that we casted. That was yeah, that was kind of funny. OGST. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah, that was that was interesting. We won that game, and he was actually on our team, wasn't he? Yeah, I think he was. Yeah, that was weird. Oh, I tried the new mono battle map, which is kind of nice. I like the random system that they have. So if you guys have not played mono battles, it's a lot of fun. Uh, it kind of helps you uh, stay up on your macro game a bit because it does focus. It allows you to concentrate on your on your resources, and also allows you to uh, just you know macro up and build one unit. It's a mono battle, so everyone gets one unit, and. Um, this SCV is defying uh, the laws of Zergling aggression, but uh, there you go. when they turn, they do slow down, okay. so he did lose that. So those Lings do get that SCV kill. And uh, now we have Mighty Sheep taking an expense from his own, getting that bunker down just for protection. And uh, Mike's just going ahead, taking his third, going, you know what? You're not going to be doing anything to me, so why not? No, uh, he did kill that scouting SCV, and uh, Lings are heading back home. I would have liked at least one of the Lings to grab the watchtower at the middle of the map. Just for you know, just for vision, he would have spotted any uh, ground-based movement from the Terran player. Actually, this wouldn't really do anything because it only goes out to like here. Uh, but still, I mean, if if they can just go around here. Well, I mean, come on, it's gold. Yeah, but no, I, I'd go around. I think <laughs> it's, I think you might just automatically go around. Maybe I, they just had a new patch that uh fix the fix the pathing. Fix the pathing, fix the pathing yes. Mm -hmm. Um. Alright, so he has the Lings working on those rocks in between the second and the third, and we have an Orbital Command coming out from Mighty Sheep. 
Um, and it does look like that he's going to go a uh, mostly three, uh, well, Marauder, no, Marine, sorry, my brain's rotten. All right, so this third up, we should start seeing him saturated relatively soon. He is getting that queen out. Um, both players are relatively doing nothing. <laughs> um, <laughs> Got that right. <laughs> but they're uh, getting... APM! Income. We're at 50 for Mighty Sheep. 96, 84, 72. What are you doing, man? What what exactly are you using this APM on? And uh, production tab, nada. The lag has returned. Yep, that lag at... Oh boy. Well, I guess I could take a nap right now and you wake me up when something happens. Sleep well. Maybe you can count some, uh, sheep. Ha ha, ha ha. What? I'm sleeping. Um, so let's see. So the Marine does come up here, scout out the third. It's going to be taken out pretty quickly by that Queen. However, he does get that information. Um, over there's an Evo Chamber, Roach Roaring going down, pretty standard for the third player. Um, we do have some reactors, Tech Labs, so we're finally going to start seeing those Marauders come out. He is working on STEM, doesn't have any of the upgrades, but we might see him. He is getting that factory, so he'll probably transition straight into a Medvax. Medvax, because I don't feel like he's going to be going out of tanks or aliens. Uh, no, it does look like he's going to 3M build. Uh, Metabolic Boost is. On his starting. way from Mike, and uh, we finally have a drone transfer. Yep, and two more extractors going up right now, so he's gonna have plenty of gas to fund this Roach army. Um, and uh, Roach versus 3M, uh, not a bad choice as long as there's not a lot of Marauders in the Terran player's uh, army. Well, it's gonna be a majority of Marines since he has just have two reactors. Yeah, um, yeah, he's probably just using that tech lab to get mostly uh, upgrades and just throwing marauders in here and there. And there's the starport down for those medbacks. And, and there's the reactor, so we'll probably be seeing that switch as soon as it's done. Yep. Start getting those uh, medbacks out. Little switcheroo for the medbacks. And uh, they're still taking down these rocks. I'm actually kind of amazed. Uh, well, he pulled some zerglings off. He's just taking out slowly. Yeah, Mike, definitely. He's uh, He hasn't overcommitted to the zerglings, which is really nice to see. Uh, right now, he only has the two lings. He lost two in uh, skirmishes with the Terran player. Um, yeah, plus yeah. one a range attack going for Mighty Sheep. And Not um, Mighty Sheep, Mike, I'm sorry. And the player's about to finish. So we might see if he decides to go any other tech. Oh, the slag is killing me! Why? You're not playing. Oh, look at that! Oh, little buddy, what are you doing? Get to work. Come you know, on, man. You want to come down to But he to only has a short amount of time on this earth. I mean, he doesn't want his entire life to be wasted lounging on the couch staring at crystals. Well, do you want to spend your entire life working? Don't we? No. Feels like it. But I do you want to? I almost worked a 10 hour day do and I'm still Do you want to or done. do you have to? I have to. Exactly. There you go. I right. want to, too. Um. Starting to see those medvacs coming out. Is getting the attack upgrade one for his infantry units and roaches. Uh, both players are staying uh, barely ahead of their supply counts. Uh, we do have a couple supply depots finishing up for Mike and uh, a huge lot of roaches from. Oh, I'm getting the players so backwards. Um, I'm neck tied. You go. All right, so the Terran army is starting to move out ahead towards that middle. Nope, just heading up. Doesn't care about that watchtower. Um, I think the Told roaches you. will be able to defend. Yeah, um, there aren't that many marauders, and there's just not enough medvacs right now. I don't look at me like how I say marauder. It's just a marauder with an accent. Um, and marauders? The marauders, you know, the, the uh, hairy marauder. Ew. <laughs> and uh, here come the roaches, and it's just, it's not enough marauders. Actually, that stem did Ooh. do pretty well. He might be able to clean it up, or it'll just be pretty close. Yeah, well, I think, I just, I don't think there's enough medbacks. If you go the 3M route, if you go to that strategy, you have to, you have to get more medbacks. You, you have to have a cloud of medbacks. And, uh, but a good call on Mighty Sheep on pulling up uh, his remaining units into the medback, but they are flying into that queen with her deadly knitting needles. And, um,. I just, I, no, they're not going to be able to land. He might want to fly into the main and see if he can do some harassment damage to the mineral line uh, of Mike. I like how he's going to go over there and then come back. Yes, he's going to do a zigzag. It's a, uh, psych, I'm going to juke you. 
And uh, he does come back and drop. If maybe he, t I would go for just the drones. I wouldn't go for the well, extractor. Either way, it's gonna be unfortunate because yeah, Virgs is knocking on your door. Although no, he did. Yeah, he did just finish siege, getting those up. Um, siege tanks on the high ground. Uh, he should probably get those guys back into the bunker. Eh. This might be too many roaches, though. It, it's gonna be close, or he's just gonna win. What? It's either gonna be close. He's gonna barely defend. So he has the Zerg players. So what you're saying, win. he has a very slim chance of propelling these. Yeah. I mean, he just whittle away a lot of them, but there is another tank on this high ground, so it might be enough to save him for the moment. Yeah, but I think. Uh, but he's just not producing any. No, and that tank's not. In, oh, I mean, he does stim those couple of marines that just has, popped out. He has all these barracks that are doing nothing right now. What's going on with the drop back at Mike's main? Did it do? Did it's it clean? Gone. All right, it was cleaned up by roaches. It did look like it took out maybe a couple, <sighs> a couple, a uh, couple drums. drums what's, but the, what's the worker count right now for uh, kills? All right, he was well. He only got two from that attack. Uh, Mike's looking at get ten SCVs. I don't know. Uh, now that we do have the that changeling, changeling in the main. Getting a ton of scouting information, uh, a swell of roaches right now, and and Mike could definitely take the game. Uh, I think if, like, he doesn't need it, but if he gets Burrow and Tungling, he would be golden. But I think he just has enough that he's able to just walk up there. Yeah, I, I mean, don't... I mean, we do have a ton of production right now from, from Mighty Sheep. The tanks are going to do a lot, but there's not really anything much to back up, to back them up. No, and it's, uh, I'm a little curious when there's Vikings on the field, I mean... He might be able to do a little overlord hunting, but I, I don't know. There might have been a misclick from the starport. He is working on the armor upgrade for his his, his units, but I, I really think he should have went heavy marauder. Ooh, he does lose his third uh, from these roaches. We totally missed all of that. Yeah. And uh, he is going to engage the Terran army right now, but it's a very uh, poor engagement spot for the Terran. The tanks you are know, easily taken good out. Good call that he picked up the rest of his units. Uh, he should probably drop them down here by the by the tanks, which he does, and that does force the roaches down. Uh, you know, actually looking at, now that there are siege tanks on the field, he might want to invest in that burrow, like you were saying yeah. earlier. Or he's just going to need to tech up with something else, like a spire if he gets those mutas out. Um, it's just going to be hard. Yeah, if he goes with a roach muta type play, he could uh, harass with the mutas behind in the mineral lines, and then go with but the this is a lot of roaches. Yeah. I mean, you know, uh, just for now, he might want to get burrow just so he can regenerate the health on his roaches. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then for Mighty Sheep, we do have uh, Combat Shields. He had Concussive Shells, yeah, Concussive Shells and Armor is almost finished. Let's see, so he's rebuilding his third and taking a Ninja Fourth. Uh, you know, I kind of like the Ninja Fourth, uh, especially in 1v1. One, one one. If you can hide an expansion, it, it definitely helps you out. And uh, these SCVs finally return home to do some, some mining. Uh, I don't know, I just... more Marauders and Medvacs, and I think he'd be alright against these uh, Roaches. Actually, I think right now he's pretty good. He does have a pretty good tank count. As long as he can get them in good position. Yeah, he just needs good positioning, and it should be fine. The Zerg player is taking a, uh, his fourth, fourth. Um, oh, those roaches. Uh, we're looking at... roaches, though. We're and he is finally getting Burrow and uh, Carapace. Yeah, and he already has the plus one range attack for his... his oh, this is going to be too much, ro too much ropes. Yeah, the tanks weren't sieged up soon enough. Nope. They're going to be easily taken out. One of them will survive just a second longer, but it probably will be sniped by the roaches. Yep, that next tank is going to go down. Let's see if we, he can pick up his units right here. I think this might be GG for Mighty Sheep. Actually, no, looking at the supply. No, I think it might be GG. Yeah, GG. Most of that supply. He doesn't supply, have any tanks left. All he has is his handful of yeah. Marines, Marauders, and that's a lot of roaches. That's a lot of SUVs for Mighty Sheep. I think he has a lot of his resources piled into that. And uh, this this is going to be GG. SUVs have been pulled off the line. Uh, Medvax, good count right now, but... It's just unfortunate that his barracks, he was producing units, but since it was rallied behind the roaches, there's nothing to do. And there's that barrel, it gets behind him, gets a little bit of regeneration. And, uh, there's just nothing Mighty Sheep yeah. can uh, do Most about of it. the army for Mighty Sheep is now gone, and remember that most of that supply count is in SCVs. Not anymore. And, uh, oh no, he lost about 20 of those in that initial attack. Um, 22. Roaches are so OP, and it's like, you, uh, here's the thing with roaches. Get Marauders, heavy medvac, even if you want, because there was no anti-air, get some Banshees on the field, and you're good against roaches. 
Not with this amount of roaches, banshees aren't really going to do anything. So, they, they won't you're, be able you're to saying take... roaches are OP? Well, it's kind of hard to beat 43 roaches. Get get 43 marauders. And you got a micro. That's the thing. I'm not saying they're OP, but... No. Um, well, you know, def uh, Mighty Sheep, don't rage quit after you're done. You just GG. You got outplayed. I mean, you let, you let the Zerg player macro up and get a ton of roaches. That's how I see it. If you get overpowered by one unit... By someone essentially playing a mono battle game in a 1v1, it's because you let them. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, leave a comment down below on how you think Mighty Sheep and Mike did in today's uh, 1v1 gold matchup. Hit that like button. Subscribe. Uh, do all the other stuff we tell you to do. Share. Uh, we'd love to have a replay of your own to cast. Just send it down to uh, the email address in our description. And uh, good luck, have fun. GG. GG.